I thought of having a 100 inch screen size was huge. Well, it is if you compare it to a 55 or a 65 inch TV. But 150 inch screen size? That's where you start to experience a true cinema style at home. Welcome to the channel guys, I'm Jolster and this is the Elite Screens Electric 150H. This is a massive 150 inch screen size. So if you're interested in this kind of video, welcome to the channel, sit back, relax, and let's do this. So this is the Elite Screen Electric 150H Spectrum Series. It is a 150 inch diagonal size, which means that you have to measure it from corner to corner, and it is designed for standard draw projectors. Now the screen has the max wide fabric which provides the widest possible viewing angles. Precise definition color reproduction. The screen surface has a black backing to avoid light penetration. Now this is very important to prevent light bleed. The screen material is a multi-layer cross array coated with matte reflective compounds so you can experience a higher black and white contrast. The screen comes shipped in a massive box. It is well protected which is important so it doesn't arrive damage. Now inside the box, there is another box, and then finally, the screen. Now the casing comes in a matte black, which I like. There is also the insulation hardware, an IR remote control, and a three-way wall switch, and a 12-volt trigger included. So with these screens, you have two options. You can either wall mount the screen, you have the option right here, or ceiling mount it. So this is my preferred way, ceiling mounting. I feel like it's much easier. But also another thing I noticed is that the bracket is not adjustable. So you gotta make sure that you have enough space, at least 144 inches long for you to either wall mount or ceiling mount the screen. So for the ceiling mount option, we started by drilling holes and installing the hooks. So we just mounted the screen. We used uh, extension as a carabiners. That way we can just lower it a little bit more than usual. So here we are um, just finishing up the installation, which is very, very easy once you have the space. And we still have to run the uh, power cord since this is a powered electric screen. And we also we still have to adjust the projector. So this projector is installed there, but it's projecting 100 inch, which was this previous screen right here, which is not bad, but we wanted 150. And look at that, it covers almost the entire wall. So let's see how it looks in the end. So now we're installing the uh, manual controller, which goes into the LAN board. It's very simple. The only thing is that for some reason, if you lose the controller, you'll still have the option to drop down the screen with the uh, controller. Guys, so we finally installed the projector correctly to achieve 150 inch and the results are in. This looks amazing. It is beautiful. The image still looks, looks very sharp and colors and contrast i think it looks great of course it looks better when you are in a dark environment like in this place right here it is still dusk it's still there's some a uh, little bit of light out there you guys can see but the image oh my goodness it looks fantastic so uh i'm gonna show you how it looks under ambient light so if i turn on the lights the image does uh, look a little washed out colors and everything but overall you can still appreciate you know colors and the overall picture but like I said of course it looks better at, in a dark environment I just wanted to show you the projector so this is the BenQ DH685 this is a native 1080p projector it does support HDR as well so you can connect HDR content but if you want to use it to stream your movies like Netflix or Amazon Prime this is going to just fine man overall this looks beautiful I love it 150 inch oh my god it makes you feel like you are inside the uh, 
you know, the movie, the image, the, the video that you're watching, it's so, so big. I love it. Here's another angle. Colors still look great. There is no light bleed. Guys, this is spectacular. I love this. Thank you so much for stopping by. I am Jolster, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Jolster out. Here's another angle.